All right, let's observe. All right, what's his deal? Where's makeup? Yep. Seems like this was a, a makeup heavy event. Rash from exposure to hair dye. So, at the very least, maybe, maybe vein. Hmm. Washed hands in a hurry. Soap under the fingernails. That is very curious. So far, we haven't found any evidence that anyone else quickly cleaned up. This is definitely very definitive, I guess. What do we have here? And the quality polished leather, lavishly expensive. Hmm. Kurt Manchos is extremely rich, eccentric, and frivolous. He is the organizer of the parties for, Gord for Cor Cordona's elite and the odor, <laughs> not odor, owner of the Manchios mansion. He spends his life in the company of similarly overprivileged people. However, Mr. Manchios wishes to hide his true age from the younger participants of his parties. He is concerned with aging to the point where he uses makeup and hair dye to look younger. That is how I perceive it. What's the other one? However, let's see, his being sociable in this manner, he has made him conscious regarding his health. He uses chemicals and hair dye to clean and improve himself to the extent that it damages his skin. I don't think so. I think it's that he's hiding his age. You know, he, he's got like a young boy, boy toy, you know, a young man that he's lavishing uh, expensive gifts on for, for affection. Yeah, I think, I think he's worried about how he's perceived age-wise. That's my you guess. You are a little over the top yeah. of your use of makeup, Mr. Manchios. Is it so difficult for you to acknowledge your age? Well, Sherlock, that's easy for you to say to an old man when you look as though you are barely 15. Damn. But still, it shouldn't be an issue for I mean, he looks status. like maybe for 20. For my age, it isn't an issue, no. But the younger ones can be so afraid of wrinkles and gray flecks. I have to adapt. Such a methodical man who cares for his body but misses the soap under yeah. his fingernails. Are you so impatient or perhaps or... impulsive? I in a rush. That. Yeah. Silly little details. If I missed it, it wasn't important. Or rather, it was less important than who or what I was focused on. Oh, I don't know. All right. Hmm. Do we want to provide evidence? No, it sometimes shuts off the conversation. Let's ask him questions first. What was Fabio Yeah. Like? His personality, his habits. Anything you can tell <laughs> the me? The parrot is he killing me. He was the brightest star of my parties. Mm -hmm. Young, magnetic, and full of energy. I don't even yeah, it seems like you wanted to possess beauty. him Other more than anything. Be sobbing. To own champion, his beauty. His performances were flawless. He deserved his payment. Do you think he was murdered because of... No. Him? Possibly. No, I think it was personal. What about the other guests? Whatever it is, it seems a very personal situation. As well? I yeah. wouldn't restrict my guests from anything. I'm sure Fabio received a few coins from others mm -hmm. for his services. Okay. Well, tell me about what was going to happen. Mr. Vogel told me a little about your parties, but I would like to know more directly from you. I'm all yours, Sherlock. Yeah. You Vogel told us a little under the influence, so... Alone. Um, let's see. Why did you invite Vogel? Why did you invite Mr. Vogel as your special guest? He's a pretty fellow. He's capable of surprising the mm -hmm. public. He has a talent for saying words that no one else would He's definitely a say, provocateur, I'll give you that. I suppose I can't argue with that. Yep, he, is yep. A free he definitely fits in with the vibe of the, the event. Party, which is fine by me, as long as it enhances my party. Hmm. So it's more like he is part of the ambiance. Like, you want Vogel to be there to be weird, so people feel like they're at something weird. Okay. I'd like to know who you usually invite to your parties. I imagine that guest list is very so secret. To leave reality for an evening. Who can taste forbidden fruit without prejudice? Man, there I don't like the way you talk. Quite spices up life like these parties, assuming one is old enough and has worked many years for the good of one's country. Mm, oh, true laborers. I see. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm sure you guys really toiled for your riches. Okay. Hmm. What do we want to ask him about? I guess the the, uh, the letter first? There is undeniable yeah. evidence that you were the original recipient of this letter. What are you talking about? Is it addressed to me? Your protege wanted a fresh start, yep. it seems. This is sufficient to charge you. Mm -hmm. Me? Hurt my star? Well, he wasn't going to be your star for much 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 much
He yeah. did not consider himself as yours. Since you deny everything, let's move on. Do you yeah. have any idea as to how the letter could have ended up in Mr. Vogel's How did your pocket? letter you end detective. up on Vogel? Perhaps he took it from Fabio. Werner was a little high. Yeah, this guy is pretty smooth. I I don't know. He's currently my prime suspect. Let's see. Uh, what about the book? Do you recognize yes. This book? Mm -hmm. Could Matista have borrowed it from your library? She didn't ask me. How ungrateful. The things described in the book were Man, you were like lavishing Fabio with all sorts of stuff. She borrowed a book. Symbols and incantations mm -hmm. can resurrect the dead. They are just eerie tales with a mix of occultism. Yeah, and I mean, I obviously, it seems like you're just interested in it from the yeah the to stage. Show some of the yeah, pleasures. Yeah, you just want the theatricality, the mystique. Uh, can we ask about you Vogel? Ask no. Else. What about the will here? I've read the letter about yeah. your will. A harsh method of ridiculing Santos. I doubt he will use mustache wax when he wears no mustache to begin with. Exactly. Where did you get it? Is the slug here? Tell him. I shouldn't have to provide for him. He's oh, a grown man such a bastard. sit on his uncle's neck. He conceives himself as my only heir. And who is he to you? He's a leech on my aging body. Oh my he god. He is like to my life since truly like a servant mother. to him. I fail to see why you made him your major Yeah. Dinner. He needed to know his place, so I taught him. Oh, God damn. Again, I, I don't blame if Santos murdered him. Yeah, I'll let him off the hook. You better ask someone else. Let's see. What about Santa? That's Can I ask him anything? No. About. Uh, the murderer's you key? Better ask someone else. No. Uh, victim That's description. Not something I know much no. About. The smoking lounge. That's not something I know much about. Oh, I was wondering if he was going to no have any answers. That. To stuff that we didn't have good questions, like in our in our mind palace. Let's see. Are oh, the cufflinks? Yes. Cufflinks yes. For Fabio. Mm -hmm. Were they his price, or were they a tip or an exclusive show? It was pure business. Fabio escorted me a few times. I was merely showing my gratitude. But again, Fabio was planning to leave. You must be extremely grateful then. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. You've thrust a knife in an exposed nerve, Sherlock. Yes, he was my protege and my... Uh, I wouldn't call him a protege. With my experience and his beauty, we could have achieved anything. I had faith in him. Oh. I would have made him. Okay. Interesting. That adds a new wrinkle to the motive that Santos might have had, where he saw the fact that Fabio, who was just being gifted everything that was kind of almost his birthright that had been taken away from him and denied being given to someone and Fabio wanted to leave yeah the problem that the, the the Fabio wanted to leave is the weird thing because then if Santos would have known that he wouldn't have needed to kill him yeah that's hmm do you have any idea who tipped off the police to raid your mansion Mr. Manchios of course it was you I could even say you shut up to me. Oh, are you Sherlock? Yes, but the wrong one. <laughs> no. The fellow who did that was Mr. Pinchetti, your major domo. Mm -hmm. What? Santos? But how could he even know if he's not the murderer himself? That's the weird part. Yeah, how could he have known? He has dared to besmirch my reputation. Oh, I don't not know. A very eloquent choice of words. I don't know what if you really have much words? reputation. Since he's a snitch. Make him talk, Sherlock. I'm quite certain he knows more about the murder than he has told the police. Oh, I don't. Ooh, I really don't trust this guy. Yeah, Manchios definitely seems like you'd be happy to be rid of Santos, but also Santos has a good reason to murder. Oh man. Yeah, this is a tangled web. Okay. It's hard to tell who is telling us the most truth yet, but it definitely seems like Santos has the most personal reason to murder, but the nature of the murder makes it seem like it was a cover-up. So it wasn't intended, which makes me think that it was in fact, yeah, I mean, we haven't even talked to uh, Matitas yet, but man, this is wild. This is this is a, a complex case. All right, so Kurt Manchos obviously had feelings for Fabio and uh, the letter? Hmm. That's interesting. So this is just a point. We don't have anything else to talk about with that. But let's see. Uh, Kurt Manchester has a washing routine. 
the murderer clean their self. That is, those don't connect. Okay, those connect do. Okay, so we, Kurt Manchos carefully prepared himself for the depravity. Possible, but I think more likely, there we go. So now we have two options for this as well. Yes, Manchio set him up for debauchery. He carefully cleaned himself for the nastiness he was about to embark on versus Manchio, Manchio's wash himself after the murder. Ooh, I mean, I mean, we could try this. So these are contradictory. Only one of them can be the murderer. I guess, hypothetical. Okay, and what do we have here? None of the rest of these connect, okay. Let's go talk with Matitas. Let's see what she has to say. Do you have anything, no evidence? I guess we already got that, right? Like these people already had their evidence. I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm helping Constable Oswald. Yes. You are Matista, Fabio's friend. Matista, Matista, that's yes, it. Yes, it's Matista. Yes, but it's a I'm Matitas, shell that Matista. Will die someday, just like Fabio. Hmm. Ooh, um, why don't we give our condolences? Please accept yeah. my condolences for your friend. Thank you. I'm just here to ask questions and That's find it. Fabio's That's it. We're name. only here to find out the truth. It will not bring Fabio back. Hmm. All right, well, let's observe her first. We, we So far, we haven't had really had a good interaction, like, with her about, like, what she's... Oh, wait, suicide? Old and healing cuts, self-inflicted. So, maybe she was suicidal at some point? Bitten nails, she's nervous. Anything on the feet, the ankles? Hmm. Old and barely visible. Shackle scars. Oh! Were they slaves together? Okay, what else do we have here? We got something on the arm. Aha! Inflicted with a branding iron. The same one that Fabio had. Some sort of chest tattoo. Primitive Occulta 2, inks herself. A mark around the neck? Oh, blood-filled bruises that were obtained recently. Very interesting. Okay, uh, Matista, the performer and Fabio's partner, has had a difficult life. She was branded and enslaved while still a child. While enslaved, she met Fabio, hence their similar branding. Old scars are the result of her slavery during adolescence. She continues to be haunted by these traumatic experiences. She has a genuine interest in mysticism, since she has tattooed her body with occult symbols. Matista tries to get over her past, and the life of a performer seems to be an opportunity to earn her money. Or is she disassociated from her body? Let's see. Old scars are the result of her slavery. Yep, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Matista seems to be pragmatic about her body after years of abuse. She sells herself to the guests who do whatever they want to her. She's not afraid to step over the line. Also, Matista marks her body with ink. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Huh. I... Like, I don't really see how it... Either one is the exclusive answer here. Yeah. She has a genuine interest in mysticism, which is true. Matisse seems to be pragmatic about her body after years of abuse. Abuse, she sells herself to the guests. Hmm. I guess punishes herself. I mean, the suicide, the self-inflicted. Yeah, let's go with that, I guess. Oh, man. I feel bad for her. But we still don't have a good motive for her yet. Slaves, yeah. You have a similar branding on your body. Yeah, the K mark. Yes. It was a long time ago. Oh, boy. Couldn't help but also notice fresh cuts upon yeah. your forearms. Yeah, and the, the bruising. Help me to forget my past. To cover the old wounds and hide mm -hmm. them. How did you escape? Something happened. One night the oh. monster fell down the stairs. Great! I made him fall. And he died. Good for he you. Away that day. We managed to get on a ship and traveled here. Okay. To Cordona. Fabio and I started a new life here. It was very hard at first, but it became better with time. All right, so you two were like very Until close. Today. You were basically family. If you weren't romantic, you were basically, you know, family. Okay, where did the... Hmm, so where did you get the bruises around your neck? The bruises on your neck are not self-inflicted. Is that from one of the guests at the party? Someone else made them. Some guests can't contain themselves. Oh, God. They even bite. 
sometimes. I mean, be safe, Matista. Be safe. Okay. Oh boy. Let's see the cufflinks. I was wondering if she was going to say anything about what Fabio was getting and she wasn't getting. Could Fabio have written yes. this letter to Kurt Manchios? Oh, that could be. I never thought Mr. Manchios could make Fabio that. The sound of it, it seemed like Fabio really? was getting well, a pretty Fabio sweet deal. Fabio wanted to disassociate from Mr. Manchios. Okay. Clients who are in love are both a blessing and a mm. curse. But Fabio was here tonight. Money. In our line of work, we can't afford to turn down clients so, who pay as well. So maybe this was going to be Manchios. like one of the final was nights Fabio he works. Afraid of Mr. Manchios? Not at all. The old toad wouldn't dare to do more than sweet talk but and But maybe touching. this was an talk accident. Can be forgotten. And touching washed away. Hmm. Okay. Uh, tell us about the book. This book, the yes. power of love, blood, including the and fact that it describes the ritual the that was enacted. That govern us. Hmm. Occultism is real. The master who fell that night when Fabio and I. Oh, escaped, you didn't actually physically push him. I made him. Fall. You made it. You know, Cast quote unquote, manifest through uh, occult or was it a magic. The universe is really so lazy. Oh, I don't know. So? The universe can get pretty wild sometimes. So, you practice occultism. Do you practice occultism? Yeah. For protection? Mm -hmm. For fortune? To wash away the ugliness of the world? All right. Sometimes to survive. I have the gift, and I'm learning to use it better. Great, Great. I mean, use your gift as long as you're not doing it for I nefarious purposes. Magic. Love charms lately. Fabio became so distant. Ah. I just wanted him to be with me, but I suppose I'm not as skilled as I thought. Interesting. Okay, so that's all we can talk to her about. And we can still talk to someone about this, but none of them. Hmm. Again, it may have been addressed to Manchios, but not definitively. Let's see. Matista trusted in the occult over Fabio. Hmm. So, power of love. Yeah, that connects here. Matista may have used a ritual on Fabio. I don't know about that. It seems like a cover-up. It seems very intentional. Uh, Matista had fresh bruises. How does that go with anything? Hmm. Matista's activity at the party? Ah, there we go. Yes, Matista was bruised by the guests. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fabio was assaulted in the room. Fabio was burning bridges with Manchios? Hmm. Matisse had fresh bruises. There we go. Or... Aha. Uh -huh. Fabio bruised Matista. And she fought back using the wine bottle. Hmm. Uh. Okay, we'll stick with that right now. And Fabio was burning bridges with Manchios and Kurt Manchios had feelings for Fabio, that would maybe be a motive for murder. Yes, Fabio broke Kurt Manchios' heart. And that would be the, um, interesting. So again, the letter, still being a conversation point, is one of the last clues we have. So let's talk to Vogel. Can we, can we expand on this, provide evidence? Let's see, where is the letter? I have reason yes. to believe that the intended recipient of the incriminating letter may have been Kurt, Kurt Manchios. Manchios. Well, that makes sense. Too bad I can't remember how I oh came my to possess God. it. Though I did spend quite some time with Mr. Manchios during the party. Oh. Unfortunately, even with an answer, that may still not be enough to clear you. Yeah, it's not definitive enough. But fear not. I will yeah, it doesn't help. I nope, hope your it does not. to put things straight will make up for... I mean, I'm trying to sort this out. on a bender. Touche. Okay, so we have two new, or we have new Mind Palace, and it updated here. So we can still talk to someone about this, but who? I thought we talked to everyone about it so far. Yeah. Manchus denies any connection with the letter and claims that Vogel took it from Fabio, but it, it would still must have been written to somebody. Let's see, I've, either Vogel or Manchus is lying. There we go. But Vogel took the letter under influence, or Manchios planted the letter. So what happens if we say he planted it? Kurt Manchios is the murderer. For years, Fabio played with Kurt Manchios' heart and abused his interest in the young performer. When Manchios received yet another rejection, he murdered Fa Fabio and staged a love ritual to avoid suspicion. Huh. Hmm. I don't know. 
The fact that this is still a conversation point makes me think that there might be something else here. Like, can I not talk to you about this? Let me out. No, I can't talk to you about it. Can I talk to you about it again? Oh, I can- Oh, now we're in the accused stage. I appreciate stage. your cooperation, Mr. Manchios. Wait, yeah, just we'll be back. Oh, check. man. Okay, so we can just accuse him right now. I guess technically we, we have the, the means, motive, and opportunity. And we can't talk to... Uh... I know I can handle the news. So, I guess the thing is because we have him in the Mind Palace as the person. So, what are the other options here? Yeah, he just set himself up for debauchery. So, what happens if... Pinchetti missed the blood splatter. What's his motive here? Santos Pinchetti is the murderer. Had worked for his uncle for years in the deep hope of obtaining his heritage. Manchios' hostility and humiliations pushed Pinchetti to kill Fabio and frame his uncle. Manchios' imprisonment would make Pinchetti the only lawful heir. Correct the injustice. The only way for Santos Pinchetti to right his wrongs was to rid, be rid of his monstrous uncle. His uncle is monstrous. Like, he is definitely abusing these performers, as well as his family. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Versus... The, let's see. Matisse was bruised by the guest. She was mo Oh, no, no. Versus this, where the option is that... Well, she was afraid of Fabio's growing popularity and ambition. She wanted to keep him with her for as long as possible. And a last-ditch effort... Matista conducted a love ritual during which she killed Fabio. That seems very unlikely. Both of these don't seem likely. Hmm. And, but the question is, which of the three? And who can we talk to about this? Can we talk to the detective about the, the letter? Is there anything that he can answer for us? Where did he get off to? Was he in the inspectors? No. He was in the archive room, right? There we go. Provide evidence. Okay, what can we talk to him about? This letter proves nothing. Fabio wrote it to Mr. Manchios. It's yes. time to free Mr. Vogel. Do you really think I'm that naive? It's not enough. I need proof, not words from his friend. Very well. Uh, Mr. Pinchetti yeah. told me that Mr. Manchios was lavishing Fabio with expensive and yes. eccentric gifts. Mm -hmm. the letter Which we definitely have the evidence of with the cufflinks. And attempts to buy Fabio with them. It was written exactly. to Mr. Manchios. Who else was showering Fabio with luxuries? No one that we him? knew. It doesn't fit Mr. Vogel's character. Look here. We had a deal. Give me the murderer and then take your friend mm -hmm. with you. I won't budge otherwise. Well, fine, but you're just wasting time. Okay. Hmm. So we have to... Okay, so now it's all wrapped up. We have talked to everyone about everything that we can. I mean, I think... The, the one option that makes the most sense is that it was Manchios. Because it seems like this guy was like, unfortunately just living through his suffering. She was living through his suffering. Vogel, it makes no sense. He's not even an option to accuse. It was one of the three. I think the fact that Fabio was going to leave is what caused this. Yeah, I think, I think it's gotta be. Okay, so sacrificial lamb. Let's go over here. Manchios planted the letter. Yes. And he cleaned himself. That is probably the most definitive clue we have. Now, the question is here. Do we want to go crime of passion? Kurt, Man Kurt Manchios was heartbroken and panicked and did not mean to kill Fabio. The improvised ritual was a desperate attempt to cover up the crime. A prison sentence should be enough for his, har for his harsher punishment is the death of his love. Nah... No, this guy's a creep. Kurt Manchios killed Fabio in cold blood. He staged the crime as a ritual to blame Matista. I think he knew that she took the book. He planted the letter in Vogel's pocket to avoid suspicion. Manchios has no consideration for the life of others and deserves to be, whoa. I don't, I don't know if anyone really deserves that, but all right. Okay, so I think that's, I think that's our go-to. Uh, do we, we just want to go with this? Yeah, I think so. Aha! Okay, so that's our that's our conclusion. I think let's accuse him. The yeah. murder of Fabio did not have a ritual purpose, Mr. Manchios. 
Yep. It was staged by a man who wished to distract the investigation. Exactly. That might be true. That poor girl, Matista, would no, be no, 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 no. Who cared for her? So I think I think Santos, the most evidence post Mr. points Pinchetti towards him. Snatched at the chance to solve his problems. Ungrateful little scum. Will he be executed? For what for? He informed the police as to the crime. That exactly. He couldn't stage the ritual, but he found the body, I believe. See, I that's the thing, is that he Why found it. How do you know how to stage it? Vogel. Yeah. He had no reason, and he won't be a scapegoat as you plan. Yeah, that's you right. Fabio's letter in his the fact that Vogel had the letter makes it seem like he was going to be tried to be serious. blamed. Ooh. What do we want to pick? Um, I mean, uh, let's go with the fingernails first, I guess. We can very often deduce yeah. someone's life by their shoes or their fingernails. Fingernails definitely tells a lot a about a person. person. But this murder was fairly traumatic and filthy. After you stabbed Fabio, you were covered in blood. You panicked and neglected to rinse the soap from under your fingernails. Mm -hmm. The devil That's is right. in details, Mr. Manchios. Nonsense. I missed it simply because of the busy schedule of the party. Of course, mm -hmm. a stage murder mm -hmm. is certainly not planned. I'm sure. And the other thing that I think makes this the most definitive option is the fact that there was bloody ritual, like bloody, um, not ritual clothes, but party clothes. And theoretically, during the day, Santos wouldn't have been wearing those. He would have been wearing his, like, shabby suit, probably with, like, a mask or, like, a blindfold or something. And same with Matista who would have been either in the dressing room or dressed in, like, the lingerie that the other uh, people were wearing. So the only person who could have theoretically had the bloody robes would have been Vogel or Manchios, but we can't accuse Vogel, so by default, then, you have to say it's him. Well, you definitely staged the ritual. You staged the murder yeah. as a satanic ritual. It was easy You knew what you were doing. You were the one who wrote the scenario. Exactly. It was your way of avoiding suspicion. Deflecting it. A respectable man uh -huh. in the 60s. That's right. 60s. Who hosts the cream of Cordona society mm -hmm. cannot possibly be a murderer. But the guests who behave like animals. Oh, yes, mansion, exactly. Of course, one of them could have killed Fabio. Mm -hmm. I did oversee a few of the rituals, but I did not stage Fabio's death. Okay, I don't believe that for a hot second, but... Let's go to the heart of the matter, the real motive here. You're at the twilight of your life. You have no partner, you have no children. You had feelings, however, for one man. That mm -hmm. was Fabio. You loved him. And that he is, did not reciprocate those you feelings. You to own him with money and gifts. But he was also a free mind, was he not? He turned his back on you. Quite unjust. Love, so cruel and painful. And Fabio, with his words and mm -hmm. deeds, made exactly. you feel more wretched. So you killed him. You must surely perceive it was that personal. my sensitive nature wouldn't Cold allow me to blooded. hurt anyone. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, I don't know if it was premeditated. Oh, man, that's that's interesting. Think about it if this is premeditated. Because the ritual details are pretty, pretty exact. And to do those on the spot would be, I guess, hard. And I mean, I guess he does have a lot of knowledge about the books because he has to come up with the scenarios for all of their parties. Ooh. Oh, man, I don't know. I think it was premeditated. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was more premeditated than I, I was originally guessing. Because the, the ritual details are so specific... Yeah, that's my the guess. The young performer played with your emotions. That was painful to realize. Mm -hmm. You spent so much time and effort to be with Fabio. Exactly. But he didn't respond in the way you would have liked. You wanted to be loved. But Fabio shattered your dreams. Fabio was not down for it. And mocked you. He wanted you to suffer by offering himself to others. The deception was unbearable. Mm -hmm. You struck him. And then you staged the ritual. You planted the letter in... So Bogle's that's the thing. The fact that he planted the letter and attempted to uh, set up Matista... Sherlock, stop this game now. There is no stop word, Mr. Manchios. Relax. Oh, damn. Enjoy. Throwing it back in his face. I'll pass the remainder of this case to Constable Oswald. He'll know what to do with you. Oh, damn. Yeah, I definitely think 
yeah, he was definitely a, a intentional cold-blooded murder. Yeah, that's my, that's my best guess. All right, so I can now talk to you. Boom. That was, that was an intense situation to like go through all the details. I think it makes the most sense that it's him. I mean, he's definitely playing it off like, no, what are you talking about? Oh, I don't want to go here. I'm going to go to the archive. Perfect. There you are. I have a name for you. Kurt Manchios. Yep, it, I Is definitely so? think it's Kurt Manchios. The master of the Sabbath. The man himself. No, he, he definitely Mr. fits Manchios almost all of the clues. His lover. The others are, are kind of muddled, and it doesn't make sense for them to, the to have to knowledge of a some of the specifics. I'll make a name thanks to that for sure. As oh yeah, you're not. You'll definitely make a name for yourself. Place. Perhaps some documents were transferred somewhere else, but I couldn't find a trace of them. Oh. Then so this is about our mother's case. Discarded document drawers where we put the lost papers or the badly labeled uh -huh. ones, including the crime scene report of Well, Violet that is Holmes's extremely case. helpful. Everything I found is on the desk here. Take it. Your persistence has saved me. Yes, it well, has. No, we had a deal after all. Your friend is free, then. You can well, okay, no, Vogel is not our friend. He, he is an acquaintance at most. Ooh, man, that was quite a case, but now we have this. Yes. Report number 0743. Officers arrived to find the deceased, identified as Mrs. Violet Holmes, lying in the garden of Stonewood Manor. Visual inspection showed the victim to be thoroughly soaked with a deep vertical incision, two inches in length, down her throat. Her face was swollen and covered in red blotches, a likely cause of death, hypoxia, awaiting confirmation from medical examiner. Main suspect is Otto Richter, who was arrested at the scene. The body was sent for autopsy. Oh, whoa, that's definitely, yeah, she did not die of consumption. What the hell happened there? Okay, there's John and Sherlock. The gazebo. Mm -hmm. What the hell happened in this house? Oh. A garden. There's a garden behind our manor. How could I forget? I mean, That's where it all happened, where it all went wrong. Oh, wait, Jerry, is that where the murder happened? You almost found what you wanted. Oh man! Every time we find something here, it is it is more unhappy for 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 poor Sherry. Oh, you did it, Sherlock! The case is closed. And well, all it's kind of closed. Bravo! It is merely the triumph <laughs> the of the truth. Is it? No compromises? No lies? You're happy with your decisions? I think so. I mean, I guess it's acceptable. I mean, an innocent person still died. It was the best decision I could obtain. The truth must be told in the way it is most acceptable. You're making progress, Sherlock. I was right to believe in you. By the way, did you get that precious information about your mother? Oh, not that you must. He's, yes, he is I did. weirdly me fascinated by our mother, myself. and I don't like it. I simply worry I'm failing to be of much help to you. Actually, hmm. you were. For some reason, all the archives on the case had disappeared. This was a rare opportunity to obtain... Exactly. Impossible. It's almost Outrageous. like he orchestrated Perhaps this. I don't like it. Unpleasant. Society usually rejects those who speak with too much honesty, doesn't it? A comfortable oh. lie is often preferred to an uncomfortable truth. I mean, yes, that is true. Still, Depending on the scale. The latter should prevail. And I cannot remain silent. That's quixotism at its best. Your mere truth cannot defeat institutions, systems, and power. Etiquette, religion, exactly. marriage. The, the institutions are more powerful than... Sanity. Than the truth of the matter. Corruptible. Lies destroy human dignity. How could you make a Man, Vogel's got a real like Moriarty energy. Are we really free to decide anything in this world, Sherlock? Hmm. Ooh, that's a good question. Is anyone entirely free? No, I'm not entirely free. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. I'll take your point. There are some. Everyone, limits, everyone some faces some limits. Yeah, no one is entirely me. free. That's impossible. Despite my best efforts, we cannot remain entirely objective. Exactly. I didn't want to sadden you, Sherlock. No, we all come from a biased perspective of some kind. You You're know, the life we live is Sherlock. only the one we know. You refuse to lie to others, but constantly lie to yourself. 
How long until the train oh, comes no. off the track? I cannot look away, but perhaps I should take a few steps back. You're an accident waiting to happen, Man, dear. Vogel, what is, what is then, with this? I shall bid you adieu. No, no words of encouragement from him, I guess. Ooh, but man, we wrapped up the case. We got the new documents. Let's head back to the house and I guess find out what happened with Violet Holmes.